Oh. They, uh, they added a WWE trademark. I didn't even know that was there. We got a bit of a thing here. I kind of already started it a little bit, a wee bit, but I'm unlocking this color soon so we can see it. Uh, it's kind of cool. I think maybe if we go into training mode, we, we'll be able to see the color. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. I do like it. Uh, we'll look at it on, on the Petra, which is, uh, of course, the character I play. Uh, kind of kind of sickly Garnet. Might need a little bit of a snack, uh, but this one's pretty cool. Anyway, if you take a look at your missions here, you got general missions and then you got weekly missions, so I guess I'm going to try and complete all these weekly missions. We'll see how long it takes. Again, I already started a little bit. I want an Asgardian legend uh, that were born in Asgard. Again, I don't read the lore, so I'm assuming that's that's talking about Thor. So we're going to lock into the Thor here uh, <laughs> and see what happens. Thor is one of those characters where both of his weapons were tweaked, so I can start the talk on the balance pass, but we'll do that when the game starts. So, if you're wondering, I got a bit of answers to some FAQs. Uh, what happens if you don't buy the battle pass? Because it's 10 bucks, I know. You get, uh, you get 200 mammoth coins in the process, so if you're thinking about buying mammoth coins, you might as well get this, but uh, the general idea is that like, even if it's not something that you buy, you're still going to get stuff for free for just playing Brawlhalla, which is cool, because I'm assuming that you already do that. Um, if not, then, then I made a bad assumption. Ooh, so you notice a little bit of the change there. Hammer Sidelight previously would have hit that uh, high up vertical, but it did not. And that's a bit of a uh, bit of the balance pass coming into play. But uh, I'll resume that talk later. Basically, if you don't buy it, you can get, and I can give you the exact numbers. Uh, you get four avatars, I believe. You get two taunts. Okay, again, there's two taunts for free. Which normally you have to buy those, which is cool. Um, ow. I don't know why I'm not on the right stance. That might be a me problem. Uh, you also get a sidekick, like a, one of those little floating guys that bring you into battle. So you get a little battle buddy. And then you get five colors and, and a weapon skin. So, I mean, if you add that all together, it's four plus two, plus one, plus five, plus one. I'm dead. It's at least like 12, six. I don't know how to do math, but you know, it's not nothing. So basically, like, even if you're not paying, you get content. You're getting free colors. What's cool about the colors is that, so in the, in the 999 track, you can, uh, once you get to a certain point, you unlock the colors for everyone. And unlike previous, uh, like, exclusive color things, oh, that was a dare. Oh, I thought it was a dare. Would have been a killing dare. But that's fine. Um... Once you unlock it for everyone, like previously with holiday colors, you have to get it individually or like Mountain Dew colors, like it's only for the characters that are in the game when the patch came out. For these like soul, soul crush colors, I don't know what they're called. We're gonna call them little loopy doopy colors because they're kind of like cotton candy. Now. Then uh, once you unlock it for everyone, you will also unlock it for any future legend that gets added to the game, which is pretty cool. I do like that. I do like that that change. Oh, you notice the cannon sidelight angle was adjusted as well in the balance patch. Uh, I mentioned the hammer, hammer sidelight. Hammer dare is another one of the moves that was changed where the hitbox is slightly adjusted. Is it still a crazy move? It's still a crazy move. Like, I say that and it's the only move I use. Of course I'm not going to hit it if it's the only move I use. But uh, yeah, those are two things that were changed. Ow. I'm still alive though. Oh, I'm good. Once you, <laughs> that was that was interesting. If I like try to try to combo off the sidekick, once you start the battle pass, no matter like what point you decide, if ever, oh, we got new music. That's cool. That's cool. I guess that counts as an Asgardian legend, so we're good. Uh, now I want Gauntlet Legend wins and hitting enemies with a single gadget. And spear chaos. So oh, there's a lot. I guess I'll play some dusk. Uh, maybe a bit of a visual bug there. We're gonna pretend that didn't happen. Uh, <laughs> if you ever decide to opt into the battle pass after you've already started, then you just automatically unlock uh, anything that you would have previously had, which is 
or that you would have previously earned if you were on the, the gold track the whole time. So that's a little tidbit of info, information. Again, you can get like 200 mana coins with it uh, on, the, on the paid track, so that's interesting. Interesting for sure. As for balance, I'll, I'll go over it quickly. Uh, I'm sure a lot of y'all know their balance changes, but aren't quite sure how to interpret the, the patch notes, or maybe, it's, I mean, it is a lot to read. So I'll give you a quick rundown. Basically, Axe Downlight was changed. Oh, well, Spear is the weapon I want to get KOs with. So now it has increased cooldown. If you don't know what cooldown it is, it's basically the amount of time where after you use a move, you can use the same exact move again. So has a bit increased there. Oh, not the best option I could have done there, that's for sure. And then the Sair has less acceleration, which means that after you throw it out, you're less mobile, um, which makes it a little easier to punish generally uh, when, when that happens. And, and less, I guess, fluid in the sense of, wow, I didn't think they would get hit by that. I was just ready for them to spot dodge. I do want orb damage, so getting getting orb hit. Actually, orb damage. Let me pick up the orb just for normal gameplay. And spear for KOs. That'll that'll be what we do. Um, blasters were changed. The good old good olds. We're basically side light has increased stun. Stun is the amount of time you're locked in after you get hit, which means that on Vrax, I believe you can get Sair or side light into into Sair Troop. Maybe you need to be on 9 decks. I'm not entirely sure on that one, but that's a bit scary. So, yeah. A little bit of a, of a minor gun buff. Maybe not so minor, because it also means that Sidelight into a Chase Dodge Reverse Nair is probably true in more scenarios, true for longer, um, and stuff like that. So that's interesting. Bow got a bit of a nerf. Bow Sidelight has, has a little more recovery time now, and it's more dependent on decks as well. Uh, everyone's rocking the new Petra skin. We, we like to see it. We do like to see it. Cannon. I know people, after Cannon rework was put into live, they were concerned about the new sidelight angle it was given because it's harder to follow up, and then they were concerned about end light being more stiff than it was before. Lots, lots of concerns to go around. Oh, I was ready for it, but I was not. Evidently. You'll notice right there, the orb ground pound has a bit of a bit of a falling now to it, which it didn't have, it di didn't have that before. Let's see if I can get a wall bounce combo on the good old Dusk here. I keep going for side light, and I would punish with a Sair normally, but I want to get this. And I want them to be in the right damage value. Oh, I thought I GCN sigged, but I just did a recovery. That's fine. There's the GCN sig to make up for it. So end light was given one less startup, so... Uh, you may not notice it in normal gameplay, but st strings follow up, so it'll be a little bit tighter now. Ooh, you see that? That was bold. I like it. Um, and then sidelight angle was changed, as well as the variable force to be zero, which means that it's always going to hit. I mean, based on the angle you hit sidelight at, because sidelight's a move where it depends on where you hit it. But when they're in late HP, I don't. I, <laughs> We're not going to talk about that. Um, it's, it's basically just always going to hit them consistently, which is also the change given to Spear Downlight, where now it has zero variable force, and variable force basically means, okay, if they're at higher damage, it's going to hit them higher, hit them further. If they're at lower damage, it's going to hit them not as far. And zero means that no matter what damage they're at, it's always going to hit them at the same, uh, same angle, same place. So Spear Downlight is now always the same angle, no matter what, whether you hit it in the deep red or you hit it at zero damage. Uh, I do believe people were saying that double downlight was slightly changed because the angle or the force value was changed a little bit, but I'm not entirely sure about that. Uh, gauntlets were buffed, pretty good buff, or good as in like powerful, meaty, where Nair has one less frame, one more frame of stun and one less frame of recovery time when you hit it. Which basically just means, ow, I'm getting smacked. That, depending on the, the location, of course, that Nair into Dare is true again. Nair into Recovery is true again. 
Oh, it was close. You saw the thought process at least. That's what matters. I really want to get this wall combo. <laughs> that's fine. Uh, yeah. So that's a bit scary. Downlight, Nair, Recovery is a, is a kill combo on Gauntlets again. Before, like this patch, you had Nair into GC and Light as basically the true follow up on Gauntlet Nair, but now there's more options. So, if you're a Gauntlet player, use a lot of Nair. That's a, that's a good thing for you. Again, Hammer was nerfed a little bit. Katars. Katars were tweaked. Ground Pound got a bit more stun. Sair angle was changed a little bit. I don't think it's huge. Uh, again, the orb ground pound, the gravity thing, where you just start falling now. I think part of this was to nerf the ground pound stalling, where you could just get your dodge back, get an extra dodge uh, by just doing that and then like staying hovered in the air. So that's that's interesting for sure. Um, I think it was. I mentioned this in the beginning, but it was also like kind of to nerf Thor. Thor got increased recovery time on his Ensig, and that ground pound's change means that what is the dodge? I was waiting for it. I haven't punished it though. The ground pound change means that uh, he won't be able to stall as efficiently with that with that ground pound and Ensig combo that just gave Thor a lot of survivability that other characters didn't have. So that's interesting. Something something to note. Thor was, uh, was nerfed in his Sig a little bit, nerfed in Hammer a little bit, and nerfed in Orb a tiny bit, so... A little bit of, a little bit of tweaks on that guy. Not the biggest, though. He's, he's totally fine. Very scary still. Oh, I... <laughs> I kinda saved them, <laughs> but then I... Then I, then I, then I KO'd anyway. Let's get some Orb damage for the mission. As for some other weapons, like Scythe got a minor tweak to recovery for the hip hop or hurt box, so now it just has less priority in a sense, but it's not really that big. I missed. Captures. Do I live here? I do. Oh! I do! That was big brain to stop the dare, but it was not big brain to just miss anyway. Uh, Sword actually got a kind of bigger change. Downlight hitbox was reduced horizontally, so now it has slightly less range. Um, they could have gotten a, a recovery there, true, or maybe even a dare. But, did not, which is fine. It's fine by me. I'm gonna do an end sig when they sidelight me in neutral. And we're gonna, we're gonna do one of the good old whip -a -roos. Or not. I just got a soft. Soft egg drop there. Uh, unarmed. Changed a little bit. Sarah has more cooldown, a little bit more recovery frames, um, dependent on dex. So that's that's something to note. But then there's also signature changes. So Caspian down sig on gauntlets was buffed a little bit. Linfei. Cannon side sig, Linfei. Neutral Katars. Increased damage a little bit. Nothing big. Nyx's down sig on Scythe had a bit less recovery time. Uh, so none of those are really very large in terms of their changes, but Onyx got I think the biggest changes It is the first balance pass since she's been in the game So it makes sense that she's getting hit with with some tweaks two of the moves that were the most uh, I guess oppressive is the word were ah, the Retaliation there Were the were the what is it the cannon side sig and the gauntlets down sig and both of those were nerfed a wee bit. Uh, let me look over at the balance changes and not at the game for a second, if you will. Not kill me, Petra. Um, let's see, increased recovery time for both of them, um, and increased cooldown uh, for both of them as well. On miss, that is. So, you know, bit of bit bit tweaks. Bit, bit tweaks, you know, not not the biggest, but significant for sure. Uh, it's not like tiny numbers, it's like 4, plus 4 here. I jumped into that. <laughs> plus 4 recovery time uh, on the side sig and plus 6 on the down sig. So, some, some bigger changes than you usually see, but uh, she's still fine. She's still good. Down cannon was buffed a little bit, I guess, to make up for it. Um... 
Yeah, I was waiting for that spot though. I guess I probably could have positioned better, but I wasn't really thinking. Aptures. That is so strange. I'm not used to that at all. Oh, they recovery. Uh, Queen Nye was buffed a little bit. Scarlet was nerfed a little bit. Roland was buffed a tiny bit. It's nothing big. Really, I think Scarlet Sigs are kind of still insane. They they only w were nerfed in terms of force. Oh, I, I was looking at the balance patches and then I got hit. <laughs> the balance notes. Let me look at the game for this last stop. Well, we'll reactivate our, our sense. Oh, that could have been a true dare, a true end line, a true recovery. Instead, I got away scot free, which we like to see sometimes. Well, not all the time. You know, sometimes we deserve it. They like to sidelight in neutral a lot, which is, against Spear, it's kind of dangerous because I have this, this downlight technique to utilize against my foes, as well as the NSIG technique um, that I will utilize right now, twice, and miss. <laughs> oh, I wanted to set up a trap. <laughs> no. I'm going to die here, actually. <laughs> now that I think about it, I'm on one stock as well. That is, that is not a place you want to be. <gasps> what just happened? I got, I got utilized in a, in a weapon throw trap technique. What is happening? Oh, I want the spike ball. No, I want spear KOs. That's what I want. I want spear KOs. I forgot about my mission for a second. Can't forget about the mission. Can never forget about the mission. It's of course, the most important. See how close I am. I need a lot more KOs. <laughs> Never mind. Let's catch. Let, let's finish this one. Okay. Shall we? And then we'll call it. We'll call it. Let me let me play the new colors I just got. We'll we'll, we'll rock them out. Why not? Kind of look like the the dragon the dragon vault skin. I don't know if that's what it's called. It's called something like that. And uh, we'll call it. Oh yeah, did I mention that Lance was slightly nerfed as well? Lance Nair, when you hit it, it has more cooldown, which again, it means you can't use it again as quickly. Uh, now, it, its cooldown was increased from 9 to 14, which is pretty big. That's, uh, if you do math, that's 5 frames, I think. Don't, I mean, you heard me earlier, don't test my math. I'm shocked that neutral light or downlight was not changed. Um, so, we're gonna, you already know. Tossing out the good old neutralites and having some fun there. Oh, that was a dare in my head, but not in game. Almost. I'm getting a bit cheeky, aren't I? All right, that's fine. So yeah, it just means you're not going to be able to nair uh, in a row as many times. Kind of surprised that that wasn't changed. Uh, but Lance, yeah, I think Lance is still going to be very meta. Oh yeah, the cooldown on miss was increased to 14, increased by 5. The cooldown on hit was increased by 6, from 6 to 12. So, you're still going to be able to use it more, like twice in a row more, when you hit it than when you miss it, but not as much as before, basically. And then both side light increased recovery time by a little bit, so you may notice that. Especially if you're a bow player, but it's not like by massive amounts. I was expecting that. I was ready for it. I was ready. So yeah, some some changes, some tweaks around. Is this gonna completely shift the meta away from big weapons? I actually don't think so. It's just a bit scary, but it's fine. It's fine. All right, we got one on the vector. 